Hi, YouTube. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I thought I'd do a quick video on your person's feelings and intentions. Three cards each. I'm going to get the cards out first before jumping into the video or the message, I should say. Oh boy. Okay. First card is the towel. So I'm asking three. Okay. So what are your person's feelings for the YouTube collective? The first card is the tower. So right now you and your person may have had an argument, by the way, let me just put that out there. Um, but this first person is feeling pretty heavy feelings right now. Something has happened um, either with you or in their circle or involving you. And it's quite chaotic. It's um, I'm getting displeasing. Um, it's something that this person kind of couldn't avoid happening but didn't want to happen as well so right now this person's feelings are very scattered in regards to the situation with you because of other things going on in their life at this time next card for feelings whoa cards are dropping we have the five of pentacles so if you and this person had an argument it would make sense that the tower card comes up because they now may feel um like almost abandoned or like they don't have the person they love to be with or like they don't have their home or the person with them that they considered home or considered their most comfortable um, companion. This person may feel a bit broken due to this loss, due to whatever's happened between um, these two energies, okay? It's like two people have a situation going on here. It's not just talking about one person's feelings. It's talking about two people that – really feel like out of place right now in the situation like they've lost control like their foundation has crumbled and almost like they're now um, not with each other weird right okay so <clears throat> feelings yeah I mean I just picked this up in reverse but it wasn't I saw it come out it was correct um, yeah so right now this person is feeling a loss of a connection right now if you and your person are arguing or have had any sort of um, trouble they're missing you they're missing the connection they're missing the stability they're missing getting along they're missing a companion um, I do feel that this is for people that you know we're pretty close with the person you're um, inquiring about right now so that's interesting now let's see the intentions because okay I get it now the intentions actually come out quite interesting so the first card we have is the king of swords um, this is someone who what I'm going to say is this. Yes, this person's intention is to communicate with you, but it's like they want you to see it their way. Um, this person firmly believes that what they did was fair and just, uh, and they want to get this across to you or communicate this to you. Um, truthfully and honestly, it's their truthful energy, and they're, like to them, it's honorable, truthful, and they deserve to do it or they they feel right in the fact that they did whatever it is that they did it could be started the argument or stood up stood for their stood their ground or um yeah stood their ground is the word i'm getting so with the page of cups next i do feel that this person wants to also um offer a small apology because remember they do feel that they are in the right regardless for some of you it's you that left them and it kind of like destroyed their world it makes them feel but you can't leave this person as well as what I'm getting as I'm looking at the cards there. Even though you may have left, you can actually leave it. So you're both in a sense suffering energetically, okay? So this person wants to make amends. They want to get along. They want to calm the waters. Um, yeah, and you know, this person realizes whatever they argued about, for them to be apologizing now may seem a bit ludicrous, but it is what it is. This is what has to happen is what I get. And with the Ten of Swords, this person wants to end whatever happened um, with the argument with the Tower situation and have a fresh start. So it's like this person wants to come forward and say, okay, so we had an argument or we had a disagreement. Can we drop this? Can we squash this and move forward? Okay. And let's get one more card here. Um, oh my gosh, the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands energy. So this is a very special connection for you, for those of you that connect with it. So we do have the Emperor. Um, you're dealing with someone who's very stubborn. And I'm also getting soft and sensitive, but they don't show that so much because um, 
they may be in a powerful position or they're just, they just want to come across very masculine. This person is very sorry for whatever they did. And it's hard for them to say that. That's why we have the small apology card. Um, but this person does want to be the one to reach out to you. I feel like you too, you as well, the viewer stood your ground and you as well feel that you were in the right. Um, it's like this masculine could have said something to you and you stood your ground and said, I'm leaving almost or something like this. And, and it was what you had to do possibly, especially if you're a female, uh, feminine. Um, but yeah, so this emperor wants to come in and say, hey, like I see your side of the situation or the story. Um, what I also get is to get a little deeper into this message, you or, well, I do believe that you were having thoughts that were bothering you a lot. So, cause I'm seeing the moon card here and you wanted answers. Okay. I'm seeing this. Um, and I think you tried to get those answers and I think it bothered your person to even ask them a question. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Like, how dare you even ask me? For some of you, I will tell you straight up, this person was working. That is what they're, they've been mainly focused on. Um, but they're, you know, and I'm seeing the devil again. Okay, and below the devil, I'm seeing um, the pentacle. So I do feel that there is some sort of a, a job or situation um, that this person feels very much so like they have to take care of for their financial stability. Um, this could, of course, be something toxic that they hang on to. I mean, it is what it is, right? That's really what's coming up. And I'm looking at the Seven of Cups right now, um, and I'm seeing that this person doesn't know what to do about that situation, especially if it's a third-party situation. Oh, hey, okay. and I just literally saw the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands. Um, so... For many of you, you're dealing with someone who is actually having some sort of an affair, straight up. Um, they're coming in and out of your life. You are single. You are successful. You are doing very well for yourself on your own. Um, this is a connection that's been around for a long time, like the one that they're in. Or, you know, this can also be talking about them coming back to you, I get it, or coming in and out, or... Um, you and this person having a deep connection. But point being, I do feel that this is saying that this person had a long-term connection with um, whatever situation they're in. And I think that that's what you wanted to know answers about, or that's what you were having um, this overwhelming thoughts and thinking going through your mind about like, what is going to happen here? What is this person going to do? Are they actually going to leave the other person? Um, see what's under the card, the, sorry, the sun card. Yeah, I mean, it's still all about the choices, right? And feel free to go on my Patreon where I pulled another message. I see it kind of connecting to that. And it talks about them coming to a realization as well. Oh, I may not have actually posted that yet. Actually, I just remembered. Um, yeah, this is about this person trying to be clear about what they should do or get clarity on what they should do. It's a heavy message, actually. It's a small one, but it's a heavy one. I hope you're all doing so well. I just wanted to get something out there for today. Um, I'm booked up right now, but there is availability later on in the week if you're interested. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Let me know if you like these little quick videos. I know my channel's changing up a little bit because my viewers are changing. And I still have my originals, but I'm having a lot of new viewers come on. And thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and your energy. Um, so a lot of the messages are about fresh starts, leaving situations, also tied in with the common theme we have running ongoing on here um, of third-party situations, right? But yeah, the messages are are uniquely changing and I appreciate it. I appreciate that type of guidance because we can't stay in the same uh, energy as 2019. And I always say 2019 because I think for many of us, we became so close on this channel in 2019 um, with everything, all the energies that were going on. Now we're all growing together, right? So it's only natural that people exit and new people come because people are realizing like what they truly want or how they truly feel or getting in touch with their inner voice more. Um, so they may feel like, you know, I'm not going to watch tarot readings or I'm not going to watch even the news or, or like social media even, right? Because that's part of the transformation is cutting down on those things. But I welcome everyone that's new and let me know, suggest videos or topics you would like. Um, 
for this changing channel, this growing channel. And yeah, so that's that, guys. Bye for now. Mwah. Ciao. Have a beautiful Monday.